Lord I know what the Lord has done for me. My God, my God. Are you going to praise him while you're in here? What, what, what? If anybody know you'd be good. household servants happened to be there. She grabbed him by his cloak saying, sleep with me! It, 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 it had an exclamation mark behind it. I mean, sleep with me! That one was me. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can, I, can I keep reading? He left his coat in her hand and ran out the house. Boy, it wouldn't happen today, would it? When she realized that he had left his coat in her hands and ran outside, she called to her house and said, look, this Hebrew showed up, and before you know it, he's trying to seduce me. He tried to make love to me, but I yelled as loud as I could. With all my yelling and screaming, he left his coat beside me here and ran outside bought Joseph in these coats. But he coached me, but he coached some milk. She kept his coat right there until his master came home. She, she told him the same story. He said, the Hebrew slave, the one you bought to us, came after me and tried to use me for his plaything. When I yelled and screamed, he left the coat with me and ran outside. Look at it. When his master heard his wife's story, telling him, these are the things your slave did to me, he was furious. Joseph's master took him 
and threw him into the jail where the king's prisoners were locked up. But there, It said, but there in jail, God was still with him. He reached out in kindness to him. He put him on good terms with the head jailer. The head jailer put Joseph in charge of all the prisoners. He ended up managing the whole operation, Bullet. The head jailer gave Bullet free reign. I mean, Joseph free reign. Never even checked on him. Because God was with Bullet. I mean, him. Whatever he did, God made sure it worked out for the best. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, God still got me. That, this, 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 this weekend, this weekend, this weekend, this weekend, Carl, I went to uh, Florida, got back yesterday, went Thursday, got me some good sleep Thursday night, uh, got me some Waffle House and put me to sleep Thursday night. Uh, two sausages, uh, a pecan waffle. Scrambled egg sauce, hash brown with onion, and a coke. <laughs> got there, y'all, and, and got up some fried and put on the suit, went to the funeral. Uh, yeah, I was clean, too. I had my tennis shoes on. I represented Pleasant Hill well. Yeah. Yeah. And for some reason, it's a big old pretty church, for some reason, the camera kept being on me. He said, look what it, he said, let me show you what it looked like to pass something this big. Oh, okay. 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 Don't get comfortable where you're at. All right. See, because they don't want you, somebody else will. Okay. Amen. You ain't got to die, I'll move you on. And let them look at you tell me, I remember when we used to have him. <laughs> so, so go to the field. And 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 and, and I, I I went I went to the room. After I found this this soul food restaurant called and uh, it was called Five Sisters Blues Cafe. Had me some <laughs> some black eyed peas, collard greens, fried pork chops, cornbread, and a bowl of gumbo. I couldn't eat both the neck, uh, both the poach outside. So, so when I took one with me, Q, I asked him, "Can I get a couple pieces of bread?" <laughs> so when I get to the room, and uh, yeah, got me a couple of packages of hot sauce too. Joe. Man, that poach out was so good, I didn't even use the bread. So I go to my room, and, and I'm laying there, and a brother Fleming called and said, hey, man, come over hang out with the family. I said, okay, I'll come. And I went over there clean again. I, I, I just, if I'm a represent, I got to represent all day. Carl, I get over there. No, 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 no. ATC, I don't show it. <laughs> with the no socks on and, uh, and the lotion down legs and elbows. <laughs> I'm going somewhere. I know you, know you think I'm not, but I'm going somewhere. So, Donna, we sit down at the table and we play spades. So, I had this deacon from Dallas. You know he was a deacon. Let me say how you know he was a deacon. He still had his whole suit on at the, at the, at the, at the second repay. Three piece suit on. Cowboy boots and his tie. He just took his jacket out. And that was my partner. <laughs> so when we were playing, 
The first game I played against Zena and her, and her nephew, and it was bad. We beat them real bad. No, it was real bad, Aunt Margie. And here's where I'm going. When, when he got up, he left. He got in his car and he drove off. She stopped. She said, hey, where you going? She said, you can't beat the anointing. So even in Florida, it worked. That God still got me. So, so it, it don't matter what situation you're in. And I will serve you notice, no one won that night but us. It was about 17 teams we played and all of them lost. And all of them was using other words besides spiritual words. And he still had that same suit on. I got you. All right. Good or bad, happy or sad, God got you, man. Yeah. Listen, listen. Some of you sitting here with your head hung down, thank God I forgot all about you. Some of you are situating right now, like 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 Joseph. Joseph was Joseph was minding his business. Right. Serving the king. Doing what God has sent him to do. Handle the business. Right. This woman was so mesmerized with the drip. That anointing is real. Y'all, y'all, see, Carl said this morning, this look easy. Does the Lord make this look easy? This ain't easy. In myself, it's, it's hard as hell. But with God, it's doable. Because that drip is real. That anointing makes the difference. And I'm telling you today, those of you that are saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, God got you, man. Sounds my God. My God. Plies and make that sound. I got drip to say it. I made him write that song, but that drip is real, man. I'm, you, you think I'm playing with you, but you got to know who you are. Yeah. You got to know whose you are. Yeah. And everything that can come up against you will. Yeah. Right. Now, you got to know, if ain't nothing coming up against you, you need to ask God, what's up? Yeah. Me, if ain't nothing, if you ain't going through nothing, yeah, you need to ask God, really, God, for real, do you really love me? Do you really see something? Because everybody that God used, yeah. something going on. But, but because it's going on, God going on too. Yeah. Call of God going on too. Yeah, yeah. This woman conjured up the mess. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about one step you, man. I'm busy. Trying to rape that boy. He was real strong, but some of us wouldn't fight that long. In this Woo. damn time. Oh, man. Thank you, Lord. Hey, yeah. hey, it would have took that long, but <laughs> yeah, thank God for Joseph. Yeah. Temptation comes, yeah. but it don't mean you have to bite. Yeah. It does show up. Yeah. But here's the deal I like about it, because I talked about temptation. Wasn't that the title of my lesson this morning? Yeah. No, in the men class. No more temptation. Yeah. Well, my God. See, it says, it started out talking about the blob. Okay. The movie The Blob. Mm -hmm. That man poked the blob when it landed. You get that? He poked it. Uh -huh. And a little piece got on him. Mm -hmm. And it started traveling up his arm. Until uh -huh. it became all over him. Temptation is just a little speck. And it keeps traveling until it consumes you. Then it goes from a, 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 a temptation to an addiction. Now you gotta have it. All right. 
anybody anybody know what I'm talking about? You, it's 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 an addiction. Now you got you got to I, I gotta have this. It doesn't. I done poked it. It's a danger poking. Some you ain't supposed to be poking. Told my men, it's something different when you poke something you don't know what you're supposed to. You don't know what you're poking. You poke that old girl and then you, she wake up, you don't know, you don't know that, that worm, you don't know what you're getting with that worm. You don't know what that, that beast or that monster done came out. She, you, you didn't know she was crazy until you touched her. And now she's stalking you. Now she on your phone every day, bullet. How you doing? I'm fine. Hey, how you doing? I told you I'm fine. How you doing? Girl, get back. Now, here's the crazy part, Sister Jones. We're talking about temptation. Ain't nothing like that internal temptation. See, because once it hits your mind, only you know where your mind takes it. All right. We look at a woman and shake her down by 12 different ways. Just like you look at a man and sex him down by t in your mind. How can you take a picture and stimulate yourself? They're doing it right now. Somebody getting, yeah, off right now watching you. Them one that's talking about, nah, them the ones that's really looking. Talking about, hell yeah. Uh-huh, he can get it, baby. Look, uh-huh. Let me see what he got on. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. When you, when you, that ain't the Holy Ghost. When, that ain't the Holy Ghost. See, I thought some of y'all was shabbing. It wasn't a shout. And why you sitting up here laughing and clapping? You sitting there talking about, hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. You don't know, you don't even brought God into that. Because from the text, the more sexy you look spiritually, the hotter you are to the person that wants you. I'm in this Bible. You, you ain't. Listen. Did, did, did. That woman was hung up on Joseph spiritually. She was aroused, Carla, by him being in God. Everything was working for this man. Psst, Bubba, you can have it. She, did, she said, look at him, boy. Look here, boy. You don't see this? I mean. Done. The boy said, oh. Cause I don't know what's going to happen. Uh -uh. Joseph said, no one would know but me and God. Here's what I want to tell you. You know why temptation comes? Because you're on the break of a breakthrough. Oh. God's going to open a door for you. Yeah. And then Satan comes with temptation to try to knock you off the yeah. yeah. To see if you're really who you say you are. Yeah. Joseph, jo uh, Jesus was tempted. Yeah. After 40 days of fast. Yeah. The Lord said, Satan. Look what the Lord said. Satan. Go tempt him. Yeah. After him being weak, yeah. full of the spirit, he said, go out there and tempt, tempt him. See, 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 you got to get out your flesh. The problem is we're in our flesh. And, and that's Old Testament, New Testament. And you did bite the bullet. Can we say I bit it? I bit it. 
Still biting. But God is still God. You, 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 you missed the test. God is still God. Say, God got me. Even when I ever God got me. See, as believers, you got to walk with your head up. You got to know that God got me in whatever situation come up. He got me, man. God got me. Because then you go to the New Testament, everybody fell for it. Uh -oh. You come to 1636 North Mass, a whole bunch of people fell for it. I, 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 just, I, just, I just don't wonder. I can't imagine why you think it don't happen to us. You tripping. You tempted. You can't imagine the pastor being tempted. Or even falling for the temptation. But whatever happens, somebody say whatever. God got it. Here's what we got to get in our spirit. God got me, man. Right. This too shall. Yes. And a lot of times temptation comes because he's getting you to surrender All right. to him. Yeah. All right. You, you got to give it up. Surrend Go on surrender. Go on surrender to me. See, he said, be a good cheer. I've already yeah. overcame the world, so you already win. Yeah. Right. I'm just trying to get you to move. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Because if he'd have stayed, he would have never went to jail. Yeah, right. And I need you to go to jail. Come, Come you go to jail, I'm going to let you linger around there for about three, four years. Yeah. But I'm going to sit in the banker back to get you. Yeah. So you can tell the, 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 the king his dream. So you can be over everything so your family can come back. All of this stuff happens because God. It's all part of the plan. It's to really get you to move. All right. But you stay. Because you don't think it's nothing better. Move. Be submissive. That's yeah, yeah. See, number one, you got to surrender to God. Then number two, you got to be submissive to God. Yeah. Go where he leads you. Now that boy went to jail and didn't do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Did the right thing. Some of you have been put in jail and you didn't do nothing. Yeah. All right. You locked up for doing right. But but it told me. Oh, he didn't tell me I couldn't tell you, I'm gonna tell it. Anyway. But it went to jail. And and the, and the judge said, You done been here too many times. He said, Whatever well, the bailiff have in his pocket. That's how many years I'm gonna give you. Look at Bully said the man reached in his pocket and pulled out forty seven cents. Hit the table, the man said, Pow! Forty seven years. Watch this, y'all. For a crime he didn't commit. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Now he had done some things. This time he ain't do it. But he didn't do that. Yeah. You ready? His friend turned state. Sold my boy out. But it was in jail. Come on, all right, jail. Have your way, sold that friend. Come on. They got moved. See, he couldn't move for him on the streets because he was too wild out there. God sent him to jail. And now he became the warden's guy. He didn't do time like everybody else did time. The law, he cooking for the warden and stuff. He living in the jail like he on the street. Because God was with him. Even 
in that prison you in in your mind. You got, you got to know God is there. You done wrote yourself off. God done wrote you in. God, see, I'm finna, I'm finna give you, I'm finna give you some blessings on this side over here that I can't even give you on the street because I'm gonna get your attention in here. I'm gonna send you to jail. Call, and then he said he touched the jailer's heart. I remember that time I went to jail. Come on, it wasn't that many. I was, I went to jail, and 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 there was a little Hispanic guy in there. He was like, Jesus Christ. I say, Jesus. <laughs> Paul and Silas, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that man was, this man was singing a song, and I started, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Let the truth, glory. Oh, Father, thank you for being so good to the jealous. Hey, y'all want to get out? Yes. Sister Campbell, he was with me even in jail. Yeah. Yeah. Come to tell you today, you think he done left you. He right there. I, I know your money funny. I know your marriage is on the rocks. I know your kids is crazy. I know you ain't got no money. I know your business ain't jumping. I know you got a lot of stuff going on, but I want to tell you, God got you, man. Yeah. Brandon, be found guilty doing what God told you to do. They let my dude out. My dude got saved. I let him to Christ. I led his wife to Christ and his kids. Amen. I baptized his whole family. Yeah, yeah. Why did he even accept Christ? Because mm. mm. God had him when he didn't even know him. God is so amazing yeah. that he'll keep you. You didn't even know it's him keeping you. Yeah. He, he, he. I remember when I got here, Kendall was, used to say, Mr. Pastor's here. Mommy, Daddy, Mr. Pastor's at the door. She's a mother now. Yeah. 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 And the world was turned upside down. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. 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 But God still. Yeah. Yeah. God still kept him. He keeping you. Because I know how rough it is. You should be done lost your mind. Am I, anybody going to say, listen, you should be done lost your mind, Joy, Pinker, Bass, Basson, Aunga, Mumba, whatever them names is. You, you should have been done lost your mind. But God. to do with this. I, I, I'm up and my back is up against the water. He's telling me, tell you, God got you, man. Yeah. He told me to tell you, be of good cheer. For I've already, Amarja, you overcame the world. So whatever you're going through, I've already dealt with it. Why? Because I got you. Ain't that so? This girl, this girl, this girl, this woman, this woman just lied. People are gonna lie on you, man. And the sad part, here's the sad part. As much as you've proven yourself to be the opposite, they believe the lie. I knew it was something, because it was just too good to be true. But don't worry about it. They send me to jail. 
for something he didn't do. Yeah. So him going to jail had nothing to do with her, but everything to do with him. A lot of stuff, them lies they done told on you, it ain't got nothing to do with them. It has everything to do with you. Yeah. All right. It caused the shift. Yeah, yeah. And the shift is important for where you finna go. Right. My God. Because you wouldn't go on your own. Because you would be busy doing what you're supposed to be doing now. God said, I got to get you to another place. So I'm going to let them lie on you. The lady that done left everything in charge of this man, he, ain't, he got a perfect track record. Mm -hmm. yep. Boy, he believed that woman, didn't he? Right. You know, weak. Like he don't know his wife. That's how he got her. You know, that's how you got her. But you, need, you want her in your life, so you believe the lie and lock that man of God up. How many times you don't like the man of God up? And when you thought you was hurting me, you really was blessing me. Because when I got to the jail, I said, did you lock me up in? Yeah. Look, 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 it was sweeter here than where it was with you. Look, 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 look. When he locked me up over here, God opened up another door that I didn't even know existed. He said, I'll cut doors open that need to be cut for you, and I'll shut doors that need to be shut because I got you. Use me, cause y'all use your name. You don't want nobody to know your business. He he he'll do it, man. He'll he'll he'll, he'll cause people to say something that'll move you to move you because they they don't get to be a part of the new blessing. Yeah, yeah. God got me, man. Everybody can't go. See, I've done what I was supposed to be a part of a house, so now it's time to go. But I didn't know I was going to jail. Well, See, let me help you understand something. For you to go up, you must go down. The deeper you go down, the higher God takes you up. Here's our problem. We don't want to go down. See, I got to break you from that stuff you think is good for what's great. Good is the enemy of great. So I got to get good out of your life so you rely on me so I can get you to the greatness that's on you. You see it now? Once you surrender, and then once you, once you uh, uh, submit, Yourself to God, He wants you to stay focused All right. on the task. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta stay focused. You gotta, you gotta stay focused. Somebody say stay focused. Stay focused. Don't forget why you're here. Yeah. See, it rains on the just, yeah. saved and unsaved. Yeah. It ain't rain on you because you saved. It ain't rain on you because you ain't saved. It's raining because it's raining. Yeah. It just is what it's just raining, Carla. Cause it's raining. It ain't cause you done something bad, you just breathe it. In the rain, he ended up in jail. From the pit, no, okay. He went from the pit to the palace to the, palace, to the pen. <laughs> that 
means life. If it's straight across, that means you're dead. So when you have highs and lows, you need to shout. Because that means you're alive. When it goes up and down, you need to tell the Lord, Lord, I thank you for allowing me to see realness in my life because life is happening. If it's a straight line, then I'm up out of here. That's why I told you to say, God got me, man. When it's up, he got me. When it's down, he got me. When it's almost level to the ground, he showed up, got me. Because he's preparing me for something I can't not handle right now. And most Christians, Q, hate the struggle. Most believers don't want to go through nothing. But see, you can't praise God like Mother Walter unless you've been through what Mother Walter's been through. You can't praise God until God takes you through something. So you'll know him to be a healer when he heals you. You'll know him to be a way maker when he makes a way maker for you. You'll know him to be a deliverer when he puts you in a situation and he delivers you. So you can say with a, with, with empathetically, emphatically that God got me. Why, why, why? Because I've seen too many victories. I've seen him do too much to let defeat. Oh, you done been down before. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. You were born on the ground. You were born down. So down shouldn't bother you. Uh-oh. It ain't where you start, it's where you finish. All of us in here probably started at rock bottom. Now you got more stuff in your clothes you can throw a stick at. Now you go out to the garage and got the garage and got a choice to make. Which one do I ride in today? You can buy your new car and keep the old car, cause the old car paid for. You can give away more stuff than you had when you were growing up. Be a blessing to somebody else, it's just as fast as you give something away, God doesn't put it back in. Am I in here by myself? Somebody say, God got me. Stop looking at the trauma. And look at God. Stop looking at what's wrong and looking at what's good. If I can go back to the, if I can start out and, and, and listen, if I can be thrown in the pit yeah. and God caused my brothers not to kill me yeah. and sell me into slavery yeah. to get me to Egypt to where these people are worshiping idol gods, it said a mere 2,000 of them to be exact. And they can see God through me. And it gets me into the palace. And because I'm in the palace, the Lord is blessing everything and I look good to her. So she lied on me. Think of the story with me. My God. I, I, I mean, she, look at the whole, she got to look at the whole picture to understand yeah. this piece. Yeah. Look, look at this piece. That he, 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 now he woke that boy and told him he had a dream. Yeah. And the dream says, you're going to run everything. Yeah. Right, your brother's going to buy down to you and your daddy on him. Y'all forgot the dream? So, so he went to skipping along and they got mad. Okay, okay. Here, here come this dreamer. What, the, what do they call you when you show up? Oh, Lord Jesus. I, I mean, I need to ask the church that. They get to talking about you, bullet, because the dream is keeping you. Have I asked you, what's your dream? You ain't got no dream, you're dead. Yeah. See, God will give you a glimpse of where he's taking you to keep you when it get hard. Not if it gets hard, but when it gets when it gets hard, he'll remind you. He'll remind you. You remember what I told you when I woke you up on this? Oh, okay, 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 okay. You remember I said you're going to be the head and not the tail. You remember, you remember you're going to have officers all over the United yeah. States. You remember I'm, I'm, I'm going to make you Bart. You're going to be the black Art Williams. So I got to take you to the bottom. I got to scrub the ground. Yeah. 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 
with you. I got to take you to the muck and the marry clay to show you how to hold your mind, your thoughts, and your words, even though you're that low, because when you're down here, I'm down here too. I need you to praise me down here so we can rejoice when we get the uh oh, uh oh. Don't wait till the battle is over. Shout. You need to praise God right now. And you at the lowest point of your life because God got me, man. It don't do no good to praise God when you want. You need to praise God while ain't nothing happening. Lord, I thank you. That you got me down here learning what I need to learn. Teach me what I need to be taught. Because when you stand me up, I'm going to stand for you. I'm going to stand in your name. And I'm going to glorify you. So when I get there, I can't say it's nobody but you, God. Nothing but the grace of God has brought me this far. You can't win without going through. That's God's way. Not this shortcut way you got. Hustling and scheming. That is his way. Last week, Q, last week I cooked the brisket. And, uh, yeah, it was real good. Uh, it was so good they were eating the fat. Mixed with meat is real good. I trimmed some of it off. Put that little old, uh, 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 mustard on there. And I only use one thing, the average yeah. seasoning salt. That's all I use. Yeah. And I put it on the grill, and I turn the fat up. Mm-hmm. Boy, fat up. I drift the <laughs> Now here's the deal. It ain't going to taste right in four hours. Most of y'all got bad teeth. Most of y'all teeth, the wind blow, they coming out. And I got good teeth, so I like, good, I like tender meat. So I eat for the, for the bad mouth people. 16 hours. Miami walked in. Ooh, Lord. Ain't mad you walked in. Ooh, Lord. You and that boy cooked that meat. Oh, my God. She said, I want some more now. But it was 16 hours, Donna. Goodness. Y'all can't be good because you're trying to do it too fast. You meet him in tomorrow, you're married to him. That's too fast. That's too, that's too, that's too, that's too, that's too, that's too you done already exposed him to you. That's, you raw, you ain't even done yet. Let me tell you, let me tell you, uh, 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 uh. Call it how good this brisket is. Mm-hmm. I cut a piece off of it cold and ate it. Amen. Well, it was good cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, God. Yeah, God. <laughs> My ribs. I cooked the ribs too. And, and, and the bones was hollering to get out. The bones. Oh, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> they just jump out. Because it takes time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got so much juices in you. All right. God seasoned you to perfection when he made you. All right. You just got to get it. Well, quit serving yourself raw. Mm. Uh, 
You serving yourself wrong. You ain't let the heat process go in there and transform you, man. My God. I'm a different dude here now. Yeah. All right. When I first got here, there's a whole lot of stuff I didn't know. I did a lot of stuff I wasn't supposed to do. Because God. God got me. I've had some different situations in my life. That's why I can look at you and say, man, God got me. Think what you want to think. Because you right where you going to be. See, he needs you to think the way you think so he can do what he do. Yeah. Thank you, I just found here he needs you to allow me. Yeah. I need you to lie. So he can send me over here where I really need to be away from you. Yeah. Oh, okay. It goes down the way it's supposed to go. All right. Why? Because he's God. And, and what happens is, so you can tell you don't understand your definitions. Yeah. There's a difference between confidence and arrogance. Yeah. Yeah. See, arrogance when you think it's about you. Right. Confidence when you know who's doing it. Yeah. yeah. And I know who's doing it in my yeah. life, which is him. I don't care he ain't doing it in your life, but you can't take the fact that he's doing it in my life. See, I know it's God because I know, Don, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, I don't know where I would. I wouldn't be here. I don't care not about what he ain't done in your life. I'm telling you and I'm standing on what he's doing in my life because if he's done it before, he can do it again. I have little baby steps every day that lets me know that God is with me. He walks with me. He talks with me. He tells me that I am his own. How do you know? Because people will lie on you. How do you know? Because you'll be in the palace. You have to go back to the pen. How do you know? Because there's ups and downs. I've been up and I've been down. I've been almost level to the ground. But long as I got King Jesus, long as I got King Jesus, long, 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 long as I got it. So I'll go if I have to go all by myself. There are some times that you gotta be by yourself. The most intimate time with God, Mac, is when you by yourself. When you land in that cell, ain't nobody there. And you're wondering, what happened? Yeah. Well, what, what's going on? He say, nothing. I got you right where I need you. So I can show you me. Right. So that even the jealous will recognize it's me. So that people at the domino and cards table say, no, it's him. So that when you walk in the store, that's the pastor right there. So that when you go in the grocery store, when you sit out and eat, let me buy your meal. When the anointing is on you, people will call it out. When his master heard his wife's story, yeah. telling him, these are the things your slave did to me. Yeah. He was furious. Joseph's master took him and threw him into the jail. Yeah. Where the king's prisoners locked, were, 
King's prisoners were locked up. Yeah. But they. In jail. God was still. Do you feel locked up? In jail. I come to tell you this morning, but God is still. You feel like throwing in the towel? God told me to tell you, he's still with you. You feel like you're losing your mind? Hold on. God is still. Your business ain't turning. Hold on. He's still. I need you to praise me. Come on, I need you. He said, I need you to just call my name. I need you to just praise me. When stuff looks like it is working, I'm still there. Don't wait till the battle is over. Shout now. Go on and praise my name. Call my name right now. You in the thick of it right now. Ain't nothing working right now. I double dog dare you to say, Lord, I trust you. I double dog dare you to raise your hand and say, Lord, I thank you. I mean, ain't nothing you want to work, work. Ain't nothing happening. Friends are turning their back on you. You feel like you're in jail. Your money is funny. Your health is failing. But I double dog dare you to say, Lord, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Because the text says, but God was still. Somebody say he's there. He's there. He's there. He's here. Somebody say he's here. He's here right now. I know it seems impossible, but he's here right now. Somebody say he's here right now. Lord, I don't know what we're going to do. Don't worry about it. I've already done it. I'm here. Look, 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 what happened, look what happened, look what happened, look what happened. He said, God was there, right? Let, let, me, let, let me just read, I want to read, let me read, let me read. Yeah. The jailer! God reached out in kindness to him. Yes, sir. He put Joseph in good terms with the head jail. See, 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 listen, listen, listen. When God got you, you don't have to. When God does, you ain't got to say nothing. See, you open your mouth for the mess up. Just shut up. I'm going to tell him a piece of my mind. Now keep your piece of mind. We don't need that little piece you got because you finna mess it up. I need you to just shut up and let me be God. Because the people that you got to deal with, I'm finna touch their hearts. See, you can't touch hearts like I can. You don't got that off your mind, but the heart ain't been changed. You don't say it's your heart. You don't say it that you got that off your mind, but their hearts have not been changed. Only God can change the heart of people. Not what you say, but what he does. I don't have to argue with you. I don't have to explain nothing to you. I got to trust the God that gave me the dream. Listen to me. You got to trust the God. Say it with me. I got to trust the God that gave me the dream. I ain't got to trust people. He wasn't talking to them. He talking to me. And because I'm listening to him, he touches their heart to give me what I need to do what he sent me to do. Ain't that something, man? Why you ain't talking? For what? You don't, you don't get it. You don't even get it. Who would tell you, I know you don't get it? Because hell, I don't get it. So why don't we all just shut up and wait on God? 
Because he said he was there. They locked him up, and by the time he got there, God already moved. God was there coming. Hey, how you doing? Come on in here. I've already, Brandon, Brandon, I've already, I've already set things in order for you. You sitting here talking. No, you just need to show up. What you doing? I'm going where you tell me to go. Hey. How you doing? Who I can't stand him here, boy. Oh, he made me sick here. Oh, what is his name here? Come on, I got a place for you. Come on. Sit, come on in here and sit down. Sit down right here. I can already cooked meal for you. Come on. Let me touch the jailer. Yeah. 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 He went to the pen. And the dead jailer said, wait a minute. Look at this. Listen to this, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. The head jailer put Joseph in charge of all the prisoners. He ended up managing the whole Come here, bullet. Run it, dude. He's, he went to jail and the, 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 the warden said, come here, man. Go get, go get Wes. Come on in here and cook for me, Wes. Come on, Wes, get on in and cook. Told all the wardens, all the people, leave him alone. See, that man was mad. And gave you 47 years, but I ain't gonna even make you, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna miss nothing. You're gonna eat every day like you wanna eat. You're gonna get to work out. You ain't gotta be in there sweating, that sweating. You cooking for the warden, eating like the warden eat. You remember? Because I was with it. Now, now, and he wasn't even studying him. That's why he sold out now. Because when it come back around, he said, man, that was God doing that door. The person bike that was stolen went to court. So he went now. The judge said, I don't care. Yep. He stayed in jail. Yep. But it came a point when it was time for him to get out. Could nobody stop and hold him no longer. Stripped him of them streets. Yeah. And gave himself, gave himself over to Christ. Yeah. 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 He got most stuff now in Christ than he did in the world. And while I was crying about time, he said it wasn't time. I don't need you to be around him now. You might succumb to his ways. Yeah. Yeah. I need to keep y'all apart so he can succumb to your ways. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm his mentor. He called me his mentor. Yeah. Yeah. My daddy called me his mentor. Yeah. Spiritually. Glory to God. And he listened. Glory to God. And stuff happened for him. Uh, and I'm here to tell you it happened for you if you pay attention to it. Pay Listen. Get out your thoughts. Shut up with all them things you thinking. That ain't getting you. No, that ain't got you nowhere. Ain't getting you nowhere. It ain't gonna get you nowhere. Shut up. Trust him. 
Are you saved? No, not for real. Is any believers in the house? Trust him. Move when he say move. Run when he tell you to run. And just know when you don't, he's going to get you out there. He'll put you in a situation. He will put you in a situation. Listen, he will put you in a situation to make you move because you won't let go. You ain't going to be satisfied if somebody get hurt, got to die, get locked up. For you, to, How much does it take for you to realize that ain't it? When you move when God say move, what you looking for is already waiting on you. What you're looking for is already there waiting on you. He just needs you to move and do what he's telling you to do. You think I'm lying? He said when Christ died. He said, now, son, when you die, here's what I got for you. Power on heaven and earth. He said, power on both. But you're going to die. And it's going to be dark. But it's going to benefit you. Have you ever been in a tough situation? And when you got on the other side, you thank God for it. <laughs> it made you better than you could ever imagine. So here's what I'm telling you. Go on shout now. Don't run from it. Because that lesson we were talking about on Wednesday, God takes you through things, not leave you stuck in it. Prepare to move through life. Bunch of wimps. All this talking how bad you are. And God said, I'm going to show you how bad you need to be. Just trust me. Uh -uh, I ain't trusting you. And he's going to release it when he's ready to release it. I don't care how much you cry. I don't care how much you work out. I don't care how much you do. He ain't releasing it until it's time to be released. And when he releases, it's going to be right on time. Ooh, say right on time. Bullet, when he releases, it's going to be right on time because you're going to be able to handle what he has for you. You can't handle it now. That's why you ain't got it. When you can handle it, ain't Karen. Boop, he'll release it. But will you wait with joy? Yeah, yeah. Will you wait with tiptoe anticipation? Will you wait praising him? The Lord, glory to your name. I know it's taking a while, but who are you getting me ready? Do you, do you know how you confuse the devil when you say stuff like that? Who, Lord, how I thank you. Glory to your name. It ain't there yet, but I know it's on the way. Hold on. Change is coming. Hold on. Don't worry about a thing. Because Jesus knew when I die, no man take my life, I lay it down. And since I got power to lay it down, I got power to pick it back up. And on the third day, I'm going to get up just like I said. I would. Did he do it? Yeah. Don, did he do it? So he said, Wednesday, how much he stands behind his word. So what he wants you to do, here's his word. He wants you to say what he says so he can do what his word said he'll do. Oh, don't you say nothing you think. He don't move at your word. God moves yeah. at his word. Yeah. So you need to know his word so when you say 
his word, the Bible says, he's bound to his word. Lord, you said, he said, uh-oh. Well, here I am. I did say it. I said, what, what, what? You know what he said? What I say? Your word said, you should supply all my needs according to his riches and glory, which is in Christ Jesus. He said, I did say that. So guess what I got to do? I got to do it. You say, the Lord, you are my shepherd. I shall not. Don't, he don't care about what you're talking about. All he did move God is his word. He don't care about your, your hurt, your pain. Yeah. Talk to me in my word. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm bound. Yes, Jesus held him accountable. Jesus said, I'm gone. Now I'm going to go back. Yeah. Now I'm back, God. Where am I stuck? Yeah. Where am I stuck, God? You promised me power on heaven and earth. He said, there it is. I've never, somebody help me say never. never, seen him not do what he said he would do. Right. Not, listen, never. never. Have anybody seen him do never. something he said he wouldn't, that he would? So why are you looking so shaky? Why we ain't walking with confidence, man? My God, my daddy said that. You join the to the throne. Yeah. You the head, you ain't the tail. You blessed going in and coming out. I'm a keeper. I'm a way maker. I'm a deliverer. Now watch me do what I do. You stand on that. Hold me accountable. My word. He got up. Just like he said. So the scripture. So that when you have a hard time. I didn't say. So when you have a hard time. You got 66 books to keep. When it don't make sense. These 66 books will help you make sense of it. When you can't see your way, little poop, these 66 books will start lighting up your pathway. It'll be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto thy pathway so he'll order every step that you take. Here's the deal. You got to take the step. All right. So somebody say, God, I got it. I got to be, I got to surrender. I got to submit. And I got to stay the course. Stay focused. Stay focused and stay the course. That's what you're focused on, the course. Stay the course, man. So you can get your stuff. What else you going to do? Because we stay focused on seeing him again, ain't we? So you think he ain't going to bless us down here? Oh, it's all Ain't what he said. We can't even have abundance now, here. Now. See, he give us abundance here because ain't nothing up there. So if you ain't got abundance down here, you ain't going to have to act up there. So he's going to release it all down here so you can practice and get ready for worship, get ready for abundance. So when you get there, you're ready to walk on the streets and pay the gold. And the walls made of Jasper. You'll be ready to see him every day. You'll be ready to behold his glory. You'll be ready to live in a state where there's nothing but Sunday and Sabbath have no end. Because you have it right now. And he wants you to have it now. He did not die for you to cry all day, every day. God did not die and get up for you to cry all day, every day. He did not die and get up for you not to have. He died so you could live. And the way you live, it ain't living. God 
God got me, man. God. He got me. I'm good. He got he, he got me. I don't care what you think. I don't care how you feel. I don't care what you say. Joseph showed us. God got me. And God showed up and showed up. Everywhere he went, God was there. Ain't that something? The doors of the church are open. God got me. And if you hear you out of the ark of safety, today is a good day to get it right with God. For the first time, he just as the men are coming. If you're a guest here for the first time, just stand up and let us say hi to you. Hey, Amen. How you doing, sweetie? Yeah. Who you a guest of? Yeah. Hey, Amen. Oh, beat it. Thank you so much for coming. Okay. Did they give you a card? Okay, fill it out so we can be in touch with you. Okay. Thank you so much for coming. Come back to see. yes. Who who else? Oh, hey, baby. Like who who you with? Who your mom? <laughs> Stand up, girl. Stand up, girl. Another black. Can we get a blue? Welcome, sweetheart. Oh, only do it. So this your sister. Who the oldest? You? You, you. Want to do it? 
dude. Shake her hand over there, y'all. Tell that woman good morning. Y'all pray for everybody to point this way over here. This is God. You sure do look like Angela. Lord, let me get over here. Let me get over here, man. Get out the way. Yeah, man. Don't you walk them kids. Y'all teeth is the same everything. Lord, how we thank you for the gifts, bless the givers, prayer, and ask to be used for the building of your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Well, it's the first Sunday. We got these April babies. If you're born in April, please rest on your feet. Stand up. Come on down the aisle. No, we're going to have to take them nails. <laughs> Happy birthday to... Come on down here. I'll get y'all. Get on up, Don. You can walk. Never got no power on his birthday. He ain't got no power on his birthday. What's his date? What's your date of birth? How you know? <laughs> she looked at me like, what do you mean how I know? All the pain he caused me. Are there any April weddings, anniversaries? Nobody in April. Your birthday, your wedding in April? Yeah, you can get back there. All right, well, no anniversaries. All righty. Did nobody see fit? See Aaron. See Aaron. 
Now I'm in charge. <laughs> now I'm the boss. Aaron, trade her a cake. No, give me the cake. Yeah, come on, come on. I don't need y'all fighting. I don't take it a big cake. Go on, keep it. You, she touched it. Look at Donna. She won one, too. Give her. Get Donna. Who? Little baby do? Okay, yeah, give her one. But come here, baby. What's your name is? Ava, Ava, you want one of these? Okay, Thank you. you're so welcome. Oh, you're going to give her that sugar and she's going to be jumping through the roof, ain't she? Oh, okay. <laughs> Our hearts and bodies clear. <laughs> Let's stand. Yes, hold on. What'd you say? A pie in the face? Hey, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got a lion. Below the line. Can you hit my hair? I thought should don't tie me up. I should have to be on standby. I'm going to have to get it washed. Say, man, when is this the first Sunday? What? Oh, I won't be here. <laughs> but that show want to hit me. Oh, we ought to be able to pay off a mortgage around here, all that money. Because I, I think that, how much that pocket, how much it cost to hit me? Make it easy. Amen. Do y'all hear this? Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Y'all better know I'm with somebody. Shoot you. <laughs> Father God, we come and say thank you for this day. Thank you for this word. Lord, we ask you to give us traveling grace. Let us get to our destination safe and sound. And now may the grace of God in this week communion of the Holy Spirit rest through the body and for now and forever. Until we all meet again, may we all say amen. amen. Thank you, ma'am, and sir. Excuse me.